like a, a short video today, I'm afraid. Uh, a little bit busy. Um, oh, that's interesting. My printed version, I can't see the color. I wonder if that matters. Okay. Let's grab these two here. And uh, let's have a look here. So basically when you want to find the inverse graph, <laughs> kind of like um kind of like um it gets spun around the 45 degree line. I'll show you what I mean in a moment. Because it's a straight line, I just have to take two points and consider how they appear in the inverse function. So for example the point here, 0, 1, will become the point, I'll just mark it here, this point here will become this point in the inverse graph. 0, 1 becomes 1, 0, for example. And um, minus 2, 0 becomes 0, minus 2. Because of the straight line, I just need, I just need two points. I'll do my best to get that there. And uh, you can see what I was trying to say earlier that it looks like the graph gets flipped through the 45 degree line like spun around it if you can imagine it a rotation around this line the blue becoming the black anyways that's an odd question so uh, the answer will be here and uh, that's right okay so that's for um F inverse and uh, let's see now um, the next one here it's a little bit trickier um, minus 2 4 becomes 4 minus 2 um, minus 1 2 becomes 2 minus 1 um, for example, 0, 1 becomes 1, 0. Um, let's say 4, 0 becomes 0, 4. I think that's, that's enough. So you can see that this one here will be going like that. That will be F inverse there. And again, you can see the point I'm making. If I draw a 45 degree line, here you can you can see that flip okay that's one nine five and one nine six um let's have a look now uh one nine seven and eight okay one nine seven then Let's get a one nine eight as well. Okay. Okay, let's uh go back up to one nine seven. Um so Okay, let's start off with um, 0 and roughly a half. That becomes a half 0, roughly. Um, roughly 2, 4. Or I should perhaps say 2, nearly 4, becomes nearly 4, 2. Then let's get the last point here. Four six becomes six four. So that's that's that piece there. Uh, and then so we'll change the color. Four six becomes six four. And then this one up here a eight. Oh, that's nice. That's still a eight. So there we go. F inverse and um, that matches up. That's actually at one, by the way. Uh, okay, 
and then this one here zero zero is still zero zero minus one one becomes one minus one um, minus two and one and a bit becomes one and a bit and minus two uh, minus four two becomes two minus four so i'll try my best to curve this down a bit ugly but again if you draw the 45 degree line for all of these I'm putting green actually you can see that you can see the image kind of clearer i think yeah so they're the um yeah they're the inverse graphs um and i like having the 45 degree line on it because fish the way to visually check um yeah okay Okay, okay, that's um that's view done. Um well maybe I'll just do a couple of the the next view. So for the following exercises, use composition to determine which part of the functions are inverse. 199, I can see that's an inverse. Um, you're multiplying by 8 and dividing by 8. So f composed with g of x, that's f of x over 8, which is 8 times x over 8 which is x. And you technically have to check the other direction too. So that's g of 8x, which is 8x over 8, which equals x. So that's an inverse since f g equals g f equals the identity function and that, that is a function that doesn't do anything but simply returns the x as given to it um okay i think the answer is going to agree these are inverses and then 201 times 8 plus 3 yeah that looks like an inverse as well 200 f composed with g of x that's equal to f of x minus 3 over 8 which equals 8 times x minus 3 over 8 um, plus 3 they cancel and they cancel and that's an x g of f of x that's g of 8x plus 3 which equals um, 8x plus 3 minus 3 over 8. They cancel and then they cancel, leaving one with x. So again, therefore, uh, an inverse. Okay. Okay. One more, then we'll call it a day. Two hundred and one F of G of X equals F of G, which is X plus five over seven. And then that's five times X plus five over seven um, minus seven. Five times X plus five over seven minus seven. So that will be 5x plus 25 over 7 minus 49 over 7. So that's 5x <sighs> minus 24 over 7, I hope. So anyways, point being, not x. So therefore, not an inverse. 
no need to check the other direction gf we're done here okay okay we'll leave it for there we'll leave it there for today any mistakes please let me know and uh thanks for watching okay yep sound is still recording that's good